Sí. That is the embargo today will be for 10.30 on Sunday evening. Any questions before the embargo will take in Spanish just before then. Good afternoon, Pep. Hello. Um, you've had a series of players coming back from injury. I'm just wondering if you could update us on Gabriel Jesus, whether that might be happening soon, he might be coming back, or whether we've, you've got to wait a bit longer. To, uh, good morning. Today is going to make the part of our training session with the group. It's a good news. So is that maybe a couple of weeks away from perhaps being a proper part of the group? I, I don't know when he will read it definitely. Uh, to be with us, with the team, but the first step is to they meet one week, two weeks training alone, and today is the first training is joining the, the, the team. In planning games for your team and who plays and who doesn't play, how difficult is the sort of battle between momentum, because you're playing well at the moment, and giving players rest? Do you see what I mean? Keeping players who are playing well, maybe keeping playing or giving them the rest they deserve, is, is that a difficult decision for you to make? No, it's, it depends on... Between the games, so now uh, between the game in in Basel, uh, it's a weekend game. We have six days, I think so, and, and for the next Sunday we will have five, six days too. So they can recover when the distance is two, three days, four days. After you have to, you know, take a look about about the physical condition. But the team, the players feel well, feeling well. So we'll see. We we'll see. We are going to make to do three training sessions before our Wigan game and and we'll see what is our decision. Cord Puel made some interesting remarks this week. He said Manchester City were disrespectful in their pursuit of Riyad Mahrez and left it too late to the last minute. What, what do you make of that? Are you, are you disrespectful? I think the club making a statement, it was so clear what happened. <coughs> Can you care about what other managers think when you're trying to put together a squad and you might be trying to buy their players can you can you be bothered thinking about what they think no no i said the same the, the, the club made a statement and always try to do the best the best for us and of course respecting the opponents in terms of the fa cup um this club lost a very famous game against Wigan in the FA Cup, but Wigan have changed a lot since then. Are you wary of them as opponents, or is it just another game towards another trophy for you? Of course I am concerned, because I saw the game against Bournemouth. Bournemouth for me is one of the, the teams I like the most to watch in the Premier League, and they were able to beat them So, in the way they play. and. Uh, and I think the FA Cup, every season there are a lot of surprises. So not this season, not the previous season. So for all history, mm. always this kind of situation happen. And uh, would be good that the players don't think too much about the final in the next Sunday. And think about the final the next Monday. Uh, I think that is the important thing for that game. It's one game, we can in out and uh, the chance to go quarter finals. And I'm going to prepare as well, uh, as much, no, as good as possible this game. Hello, Pep. Um, this does seem to be a competition that you, that you give a great deal of respect to. Some other managers may go a lot deeper into their squad and make a lot of changes. Is it because, as you say, of the potential surprises, you don't want to be one of those upsets? No, when you, I was in Spain, and the league there is always two games in the cup. But in Germany, in here, I learned, so one game, everything can happen. And when you play at home, is one issue, but when you play in away, in the tough conditions in November, December, Jan December, January, the FA Cup, in January, February, in the teams like, like Wigan, I showed two games against Bournemouth, how, you know, how he did, so, and everything can happen in one game. The send-off, you are not ready, they're going to start so, so, so hard, because they are, they are so intense in terms of, of jump, no weight. They are so aggressive without the ball. And we have to be ready. And, and of course, we have a depth squad when everybody's fit. So 10 days ago, we had seven injuries for one game. Now we recover most of them, like, like David Silva, like Fabian Delft, like another players. 
and of course we're going to take it seriously. No, no doubt about that. May I just ask you about Leroy Sané as well? It was great to see him come back during the week at, at Basel. How well do you feel he is now? Is he back up to speed? Does he need a little bit longer? Is it part in, part out, or is he 100%? But he played uh, you know, 20, 25 minutes. With the ball, was OK. Without the ball, it was a little bit not, not perfect. So I think he has to involve again in our process, in our dynamics, and how we have to play without you, without the ball, with and without. But there's no doubt about that. He can do it, because he did it in the past. And of course, the problems we had one week ago with just three players, the strikers, plus Brahim, plus Lucas Nemecha, but they are young. So to face all competition every three days or four days, so we need all of them. And and that's why it's so important for us he's going back, like the same with Gabriel, he's coming back soon. Uh, Pep, just on one other matter from this week, Barry Bennell was convicted in court, and I know the club have issued a very detailed, a very lengthy statement uh, about this, but I just wondered if you personally had thoughts on this matter, and also if you had a message to those from within football who have been subject uh, of child sexual abuse. Well, of course, it's a personal issue, like I think all, all the people here in this room and all are, you know, <laughs> so it's a terrible history. So my feelings, my thought is for the victims, no doubt about that. Hopefully we can learn, everybody the society can learn about that because I'm father. So when that's happened and you see that, that's happened, can happen with my son and my daughters. And, and it's a terrible, terrible situation. And uh, it's good and appear that situation in the fact now the people knows about that and hopefully it doesn't happen again. And, and the authorities, the judges, I think have to decide, you know, in the, in the better way to try to avoid, to be a good example for the future that don't happen again. Okay, any questions in Spanish? Hola, Pep, bon dia. Uh, feia temps que no es veien uh, a Europa els equips anglesos tan competitius, el City i el Liverpool guanyen, el Tottenham fa un molt bon partit. Uh, què creus que ha passat a la mentalitat dels clubs perquè hagi canviat? Bueno, em sembla que és una... Jo ara em sento anglès, part d'aquesta de lliga, i és una molt, molt bona notícia que tres equips hagin tret molt, tres molt bons resultats. Veurem l'United i el Chelsea la setmana que ve. Però per dir, si realment hem fet un canvi, això s'ha de veure els pròxims 3, 4, 5 anys, en què cada vegada els equips anglesos siguin a quart, semifinal i alguna final. Però és molt, molt bona notícia. Estem molt contents de que d'aquests 3 equips, evidentment, dos d'ells estem quasi classificats, un altre ho haurà de treballar com el Tottenham, però amb un molt bon resultat a Turín, perquè empatar i com ho van fer és molt, molt complicat. I és una molt bona notícia per tots nosaltres. The question is, uh, after the Champions League games this week, uh, it seems the English teams are competing and performing well in Europe again. Why do you think is that uh, fact happening? Well, now I feel uh, English uh, being in this competition, I, I feel part of this league, and it's great news for this country, this, this league, that three teams, they got great results uh, this week in the Champions League. We'll see next week what Manchester United and Chelsea will do. But to be honest, uh, we must see in the future if there's a change or not, if in the following years, four or five years, we see English teams in the quarterfinals, semifinals, even in the finals. But obviously, this is great news. Three teams uh, that play this week, two of them are almost qualified to the next round we will see Tottenham they got a great result in Turin but they'll have to to perform and try again at home against Juventus uh, in the second leg okay guys we're in Barga please for 10 30 p.m on 